Hey guys, today we're going to be making another aquarium, this time saltwater themed, so I really hope you'll enjoy. You first want to cut two pieces of either wood or cardboard and then put those together. You then want to take some plastic from some packaging, cut out a strip, fold it to form the corners of the aquarium and glue it in place. I also added two matches to the inner corners. This aquarium is going to be easier to make than the previous one, so for the background I used some soft pastels, then some colored pencils and acrylic paint. Glue this in place and then it's up to you if you want to seal it with glaze now or later. For the sand for the bottom, I just mix some white sand, soft pastel and matte glaze. Added it to the bottom and let it set. And I then sealed the background with glaze. To make some super easy versions of some plants, I just took some preserved princess pine and moss and then painted this using acrylic paint. And of course, if you want to see how to make some more different plants, you can check out my other tutorial. For the anemone, I placed four colors of clay next to each other. Keep stretching, flattening and folding it until you have a fading effect. Cut and roll out a bunch of pieces and then put them onto another piece of clay. And once you're done, you want to bake it. To get an idea of how much space is left, you can start gluing some of the things in place. I then took some grey clay and made this rack type formation. Then use some tin foil and a needle tool to add the texture. After baking, I first added some light grey acrylic paint. I then mixed purple craft sand and glaze and applied this on top. A 
And then lastly, I also added some of these blue decorative rugs, just for some extra detail. For the fish, I sculpted the first type on a piece of metal, which is going to allow you to easily sculpt details on both sides. And then for the second type of fish, because the back fin is so long, I sculpted it on a flat surface, then pre-baked before adding clay to the back. Once your fish has been baked, you can start adding some details using acrylic paint. I sealed mine with glaze, but you don't necessarily have to if you painted them using acrylic paint and didn't use any mica powders or anything like that. For the clownfish, I just glued them onto some of the plants. I then mixed and poured in my resin. And once the resin started to thicken, I added the other fish. Let that completely cure, and you're done. 